Welcome to topic 11 in the Unity tutorial series for the platform game. So in the last video we added the coins, we got the, the coins adding 10 to the score whenever we pick them, pick them up. So what we're going to do this time is going to have a look at how to add a new screen which is going to be our help screen. You're going to click on a button within the game, it's going to take you to that screen, it will show the instructions, there will be a button to go back to the game. So in order to do that, the first thing we need to do is add a new scene. So, go to the Scenes folder, File, New Scene. Right, let's save the scene before we add anything to it. So just save scene. Make sure you go to the right Scenes folder. And we're going to call this scene Help. So what should happen now is in your assets, you should see your Help scene. Okay, so if we play it now, so what we've got, we've got a brand new screen. Um, it's totally empty. Yep, so we haven't placed anything in there yet. So what we're going to do next is we're going to start adding things to it. So the first thing we're going to add is we're going to add a panel. So, game object, and then click on panel, which should automatically add the canvas for you. So let's zoom out a bit, zoom in. Right, this panel's a little bit too big for what we need, so I'm going to resize it to begin with. So let's just shrink it down a bit, if it will let us. What's going on there? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there at all. It's not letting us resize it. Oh yeah, I'm clicking on the canvas. Let's click on the panel instead, that's better. Right, so just shrink it down a bit. And then use the arrows to mark out the size we want for the panel. So there's the size we're going to have. So just resize it now, just so it locks in. So that's our panel. And you can see the preview down below. So our instructions panel is going to look like this. So let's rename it. Let's call it Instructions Panel. So we're going to place our objects for our instructions within this panel. Alright, so next what we're going to do is we're going to add a text object to our panel. So right click, UI, text. This text is going to be used for a heading for the instructions. So we're going to call it instructions heading text. And we're going to place it in the top corner of our panel. So let's just move that over, grab these arrows, mark out the area for our heading. So something something like that will be fine. Move this into the area like that. Right, we need to change the text now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the word instructions followed by a colon. We're going to tick best fit. We're going to change the color to white. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Right, the next thing we're going to do then, we're going to have another text object which is going to contain the instructions themselves. So that was just a heading. So to do that, let's add another text object. And we'll call this text object Player Instructions. Make sure I spell it right. Text. So Player Instructions Text. So same as before, we need to move it round. So this time, move the arrows so it's lined up with the heading. Leave a bit of a space underneath. All the way across but leave space for the back button at the bottom. So that should be okay. So let's line it up now so it's the same size as the arrows. Customize the text so it's going to be best fit. We're going to have white again. Right, so time to actually type in the instructions then. So the instructions are going to be as follows. So you are the robot boy. You are the robot boy. You can move left and right using the arrow keys and use space to jump. Bit of space underneath. You need to jump from platform to platform. while avoiding the spinning saws. A bit more space underneath. You will need to find and collect the pink crate whoops, the pink crate to progress to the next level. 
Okay, so let's just check that, make sure I've spelled everything correctly. So you're the robot boy, you can move left and right using the arrow keys and use space to jump. You need to jump from platform to platform while avoiding the spinning saws. You will need to find and collect the pink crate to progress to the next level. So that's all fine. So that's looking good so far. So the next thing we need to do then is we need to add in our button. So similar to what we did before, so right click on the panel, UI, button. Let's customise our button so it's in the right place. So we want it in the bottom corner this time. So let's mark out the area with the arrows. So something something like that. Let's move the button itself so it's inside the arrows. We will change the the, the name, so we'll call it we'll call this one back button. And go into the text, we'll call the text back button text. Now we'll customize the text, so click on best fit, leave the color as it is, and what we're going to say is back on the button. So there's there's our instruction screen then. So, right, we need to get our back button working now, so we need to work on our code. So I go to the scripts folder, right click, create C sharp script, and we're going to call this script help screen manager. So remember, when you name your scripts, don't use don't use spaces because that will cause problems later on. So we've got our new script. Double click on it to open it up in your text editor. So what we're going to do first of all, sort out the brackets because you know that's a personal preference of mine. So make sure the brackets are all lined up before we do anything else. And then underneath, right before the final bracket, we're going to add a new. Um, some some extra lines of code so it's going to be public void back button and what our code is going to do is it's going to load up level one so whenever we click on the back button it's going to take us back to level one so application dot load level and then the level we're going to load is going to be level one so it should take us to the level one screen whenever the button's clicked on so that's the code, so save it. So file save as, sorry, file save. Go back to Unity. So you've got your extra code there. So we need to drag and drop the code into the main camera. Make sure you select the button. In the on click area, click on the plus. Drag and drop the main camera into none object. You should see the help screen manager and then the, the code that we add is, is the back button. So click on that. So now everything should be set up. So if we play, and if we click on the back button, okay, it's come up with an error. So scene level one couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings or the asset bundle has not been loaded. Right, so we need to fix that. So stop the program, go into file, build settings, add current. We also need to do this for the other scene as well. So open up the other scene, so the level one scene, Save what we've done. Wait a few seconds. So we've got level one in there now. So add current for that as well. So both scenes are now in the build setting. So we can close that. So if we go back to the help scene again, play the game. And if you click on back, it should take you to level one, which it does. So that's great. Right. So one more thing is we need to add our help button into level one. So back to level one. What we're going to do is we're going to need a bit of space because I want the help button in the top corner. So the first thing we need to do before we do anything else is we need to move over our score panel. So select the score panel. Now shrink it down a little bit because we need to access these arrows. We'll move it to around. We'll go for about there. Move it so we've got enough room for the help button. Line everything up so it's all within the arrows. So that should be fine, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, that should be okay. So we need to add another button to the canvas. So right click, UI, button. This button, we're gonna call it help button. And the text inside, we're gonna call help button text. Okay, so let's move it to the top corner now. So, whoops, didn't wanna do that. Let's move that out of the way, grab the arrow, oh, I always do this, always edit the text when it should be the button. So the button 
So move the button over, grab the arrows, mark out the area. So something like that, something like that will be fine. Move the actual button into the arrow area. Yep, so that's fine. So let's customize the button itself now. So back into the text, we want it to say help. Best fit, leave the color as it is. Okay. Right, so we need to add code to get this help button working now. So back into the scripts. This time we're working on the health manager. So I open it up. So right at the very bottom, what we're going to do is underneath the trigger code, is we're going to add another section of code, public void. This time it's going to be the help button. Open brackets. And we're going to load the help screen now. So load level. So we need to say what scene it's going to be. So it's going to be the help scene. Finish off with the brackets. Okay, so that's all fine now. So save that. Now, what we've got is we've got our health manager already inside the robot boy. So in order to get the button working, we need to attach the robot boy to the button. So click on the button. Click on plus drag and drop the robot boy into none object click on the function drop down list health manager help button so hopefully everything should work now so if we run the game let's have a look so we've got our game click on help takes you to the help screen and the instructions when you've finished you go back to the level so that's it so we've got the help screen now then so that's everything working so which is which is great and what we're going to do in the next tutorial video is going to have a look at how to add the second level because we've got everything we need now. We just reuse what we've got in another scene, create a second level that's going to be slightly harder. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.